Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a package. Makeup by Mario came out with new lipsticks and I wanted to be one of the first to get them. I don't know why. So I treated myself and I wanna show you what they look like. I waited to open it until I got on here with you because I wanted to have that initial surprise. I hope I like them because I ordered a lot, but I think I will. I honestly wasn't a fan. There's one here. There is a lipstick that I purchased of his already and it was a matte formulation. It was not my favorite. Oh, I got a blush. Oh, yay. This is a soft pulp. This is a soft pup. <laughs> I can't speak. This is a soft pup blushing, plumping blush veil. <laughs> and this is in barely blushing. Hmm, I don't know what made me buy this because it's not my typical color that I would choose. I already have a blush on. I think I must have seen somebody else rave about it and I wanted to try it. Hmm. Okay. Is my light too bright? I bought eight lipsticks and one, two, three, four, five, six lip liners. I spoiled myself. Let me start by showing you the lip liners. I already have Hugh and Kevin. Where are those? If you're not aware already, each lip liner comes with a sharpener, so that's good. It's dual-ended, so you've got the pencil on one side and you've got a brush on the other to blend. Ooh, this is exciting. I know I'm gonna like this. That color is rich mauve. Anyone need a pencil sharpener? I'm gonna have so many after this. This is called Neils. Let's give you the descriptions. Neils is described as a bright neutral red. Rich mauve just speaks for itself, I think. Next we have Lauren. Oh, Lauren is also called rich mauve? What? Why? Hmm. So there's a rich mauve and Lauren, which is also a rich mauve. Well, anyway, there is a difference. This one's definitely more cool. This looks more neutral. This one is Johnny and it's a muted rose pink. That one is called Smoky Pink. I kind of like the name of the Smoky Pink better just because I can visualize it easier. And that one is Kelly. Kelly is a rich Bordeaux. Am I missing anything? No? Let's go for lipsticks. It's a classic creamy satin lipstick with a soft sheen. This unique formula glides on with ultra comfort and grips lips in wearable shades curated by Mario. I should have done my eye makeup first. What am I thinking? Let me just get some color on my eyes first so that I can balance this out. This is the new eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. It's the My Mini Dream palette. Now I need something on my lips, they're so dry. If I could just read without my glasses, that would be amazing. There is South Shore. This one matches perfect with this one. That was a good guess. Let's see what it says about South Shore. South Shore is a cool, cool pink nude. I wanna try that one first because it's the lightest. Right, so I'm gonna do Johnny. So this is where I would turn it around and blend it if I chose to. This is a little light for me, so what I generally would do with a color like this is I would pop it with a little bit of gloss. I have one right in front of me. And that shine just brings it to life. If it's too light, I feel like it makes me look a little dead but I like this. I'm a mess. These videos are never planned out. This is Bronx Baby. I like that one. That's pretty. This would be my everyday lip. It feels nice and soft. This is considered a soft, warm rose. This lipstick I would throw in my purse for every day. Easy to apply. I don't need a lip liner and it feels really nice. I'm gonna try South Shore on its own. 
I have a friend that would love this color. She always wears that peachy nude color. She also has bigger lips though, and she can get away with it. In my opinion, I would need a lip liner with this. Is it Bridget Bardot that would have the pale lips? Looks pretty on some people. Next, I'm gonna try Midtown. Whoa. I feel like this is more creamy than the last one. It reminds me of Blankety from MAC. I love Blankety, but again, I always put a darker lip liner on with it. Let me try that. Let me try Lauren. And this is where I would use my brush. And then use Midtown. This is how I would wear it. I think that's so pretty and it gives dimension. Glad I have that one. And that color will go with a brown, it will go with a plum, pink. It's neutral, so you can really play with that one. This one is called Nolita. This is another color that would be my everyday color. I love it. I think most people can wear this color. Bronx Baby and Nolita are my favorites so far. Yeah, that's my favorite. This one is vampy. This is called Forest Hills. I always love this kind of color. This is very comfortable. Let me know what you think. It sure does make my teeth look white. I love that about dark lipstick. After blotting it, it took some of the shine down and I think I like that better for the darker color. And I think after blotting it, it's not gonna move around as much. Let me know what you think. Would you wear this? The only thing with darker lipsticks is they're higher maintenance. So that's why I often will go for a nude color because when it wears off, it wears off very naturally. The last one is called Tribeca. Oh, I did a good job. Yeah, I like this too. And again, my teeth look so white when I get the dark colors on. I almost feel like I should try the liners on on their own. All right, I owned this one already. This is called Hue. I've shown it in other videos. I'm gonna put mid-tone on this side and South Shore on the other side. This is mid-tone. And this is South Shore. There's really not that big of a difference between the two. So this is South Shore, this is Midtown. This is Johnny. It's more of a cool pink. Next is Smoky Pink. I'm gonna use Bronx Baby with this one. That is a perfect match. Next is Rich Mauve. I love this color too. I'm gonna to use Nolita with this one. Another favorite. Next is Lauren. I would use Nolita with this one as well.
This is Kevin. Why do I feel like I'm using the same one over and over again? Did I just use this one? Why do I feel like it's the same? Not a lot different. Does it look similar to the other one? I feel like it does. Or maybe it's because my lips are getting red from rubbing. I don't know. And everything's just starting to look the same. Could be. Okay, we're gonna see the difference this time. This is Neil's. And this is the last one. This is called Kelly. And over top of Kelly, I'm gonna use Forest Hills. Those two didn't match, but it was nice to have an outline anyways. I love this color. I had some great success. I'm really excited to see what all of this looks like when I edit, because some of them looked really similar to me in this light and on my monitor and in my mirror. So yeah, I'm interested to see how this looks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did this help? Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.